Tuesday, April 2, Google finally pulled its plug on Google+. That's next. Hi, this is Jovel Cipriano bringing you practical tips and tools to help you grow your business. On this channel, we'll talk about e-commerce strategies, digital marketing and sales, entrepreneurship, and once in a while, we'll dig deep in some technical stuff. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. I was updating my profile at Easyn Articles and I thought of verifying if my social media links were working. I then went to my Google Plus account and this is what I got. It says Google Plus is no longer available. One of the reasons why they shut it down was because of the low usage and engagement rate. They say that 90% of uh, Google Plus sessions lasted only less than 5 seconds. On October 8, 2018, Google announced that it will completely shut down Google Plus because of some privacy leaks. Some claim that a bug exposed the personal information of over half a million Google Plus users and they say that Google knew about this since March 2018 but only announced it last October. Google said that there were no evidence that suggests that anyone's personal information was compromised. They already fixed the issue, however, it left an unpleasant memories to some YouTube partners and creators. To give you some context, in 2014, Google required all YouTube creators that it's mandatory to create a Google Plus account before they can start a YouTube channel. They've integrated YouTube's code with Google Plus to compete head-on with Facebook. Google Plus was launched on June 2011 with the goal of being the biggest social network worldwide. Unfortunately, this didn't happen. On October 2016, a horrible thing took place. YouTube was down for almost two hours. This happened worldwide. YouTubers were experiencing a 30 to 40 percent dip in the number of viewers. Subscribers were not receiving notifications properly. This was the first time that the incident happened in YouTube's history. The speculation was as they were shutting down Google+, it's breaking some codes in YouTube. As they pushed the code change on October 16, it crashed, which prompted them to revert the change to fix and analyze what happened. Since Google Plus was deeply baked in YouTube's code, it took them some time to resolve. It could have been easier if YouTube just communicated that they were doing a fix. So what's the moral of the story? Don't put your eggs in one basket. Imagine you chose to put in all your valuable work and content in Google Plus. This could have been a nightmare for you. Even big brands can fold. With technological advances and the exponential growth of IT, things can happen instantly. They say we will soon be dwelling on a different platform using a different channel of communication. Who knows what's coming next? Is your content distributed in different social media channels? Or is it all in one basket? Let me know your thoughts and share them in the comment section below. Big thanks to Skipper Labs for sponsoring this episode and for being a huge supporter of the work I do here. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you found this content useful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up to support this channel. You can also subscribe here so you don't miss out on new videos we release every single week. You can also follow me at Instagram over at Jovel Cipriano. Again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, be the best version of you, stay inspired, and be awesome.